Tony, you've been given this diagnosis of schizophrenia by one of your doctors. I just wondered what it's like for you and, and what the main problems are. The main problem of these, well, they tell me that it's a problem to do with my schizophrenia, these voices. Mm. Uh, they, they, you know, they, they come and they, uh, they, I hear these people talking about me and, and uh, talking about how rubbish I am and, and uh, what a failure I am. And, and I really just wish they'd leave me alone. Yes, it's extremely negative content to what's being said. So it's a clear voice outside of your head, is it? Yeah, yeah. They, it's, it's two voices, and you know, they, they sometimes they talk talking to me, mm -hmm. um, and and sometimes they're talking about me, but it's it's always really negative. There's no <laughs> there's no helpful things there oh. at all. It sounds like these voices are associated with a feeling of sadness. Uh, Am I getting that right, or is it another feeling? Oh, uh, well, uh, when I let them, they, they, they get me really down. Mm. They get me really, really down. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm fighting these, fighting them still, you well, know? What are you doing to fight? Well, I, I, there's, there's where, where I get into a real problem, because I, I shout back at them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, oh, my neighbours, they, uh, they well, you know, they don't understand, and they say they don't hear these voices. And sometimes I wonder if, you know, if my neighbours mm. are in on it as well. But, mm. but you know, they, they they say that there's, you know, that they can't hear them. But I don't, I don't understand how they how they can't hear them because they're so loud. So loud. Yeah. What, what what do you make of these voices then? Do you think it's part of an illness, or do you think the neighbours are doing it, or, or what do you think? Well, you know, I I think. Um, I, there's, there was somebody once that I, I uh, you know, really didn't get on with at, at school, and, mm -hmm. and and I think I think it's I think it's him, and and I think he's kind of got these people to, uh, you know, to 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 be you know kind of harassing me. I, I think they're trying to drive me mad. Mm. I think it's what what they're what they're trying to do. Mm. That's a very distressing experience. I can understand that. So. Do you think other people can hear them if they're very loud? Well, you know, you know what they they say they can't, um, mm. but you know that makes me wonder if they know what they're, you mm. know, if, if they, maybe they're on it, you know, in on it. But um, everybody says that they can't, and you know, I I, I don't know. I've, I've tried. My CPN said, mm. you know, why, why don't I put a recorder on, mm -hmm. you know, when when the voices are 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 there, um, and you know, I, not it didn't pick them up. But I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was faulty or something. It just, uh, nobody else can hear them, I guess, is, yeah. is the answer to your so question, you, or everybody says they can't. Even with the tape recorder, you still don't think, well, you think other people maybe can see them, hear them. Well, sometimes I think people can hear them. Mm. Uh, and, and sometimes I think, you know, well, well maybe, maybe, the, maybe my CPN's right. Maybe, maybe it's my imagination. So is it just you that hears voices, or do other people in society? hear voices, Tony? Well, there's, there's somebody else at the day centre and, and, you know, he hears voices that uh, other people can't hear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we've, we've talked together and, uh, and I can't hear the voices that he's hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if there's certain types of stress which can make anybody hear a voice. Have you ever heard of that kind of a thing? No. Because quite often soldiers coming back from the war will be hearing the sounds of battle, gunfire mm -hmm. and helicopters, etc. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, they're not actually there, right. but they hear them as if they're real. Right. And it's linked to the stress of, of being in a war. Okay. Do you ever find that your own voices are worse if you're not getting asleep, if you're sleeping really badly? Definitely, definitely. What, mm. what, what I find is that uh, sometimes I, I, you know, when I get really worried about, about the, what they're doing to me, but, and, and I think, well, maybe I'm, I'll, I'll stay up, mm. and, and, you know, just in case they're, they're going to, you know, kind of pull some tricks or something mm. in, in the night. Um, and... and Times when I do that, you know, actually, the, I do hear them more, mm. you know, the, the next day. 
So maybe lack of sleep has something to do with voice hearing. Mm -hmm. And this is very commonly seen in society, that the longer that people stay awake, the more liable they are to hallucinate. What about drugs? Are there certain drugs that cause voices? What do you think? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess um, I've heard people talking about being a bit paranoid when they take cannabis, but yeah. I, I don't know whether, whether that would be... I mean, there's other types of drugs that make you see things, uh -huh. like when you know it's taking LSD or anything really nasty like that. Yeah, I've heard of that. can really make you hallucinate things that aren't actually yeah. there. Yeah. So there's lots of possible causes. It seems like the human brain can very easily hallucinate under certain conditions. Right. And there are certain things that can keep that hallucination going. So it seems like about 8% of society will have a period in their life of hearing the kind of voices that you're hearing, Tony. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority of them will get better again. Right. So 8%. 8%. So it's, it's a very common human experience. Okay. But at the far end of that 8%, there's a group of people with a diagnosis of schizophrenia because their voices are so distressing. They're hearing them day in, day out, and they're really affecting their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that, that is where that kind of label comes from. Basically, everybody at some point has had some kind of hallucination, whether it be hearing things, seeing things, feeling a touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how do you know that? Well, it is said, Tony, that following grief, you know, when someone close to you dies, yeah. as you grieve over the loss, there's always a phase of hallucination. And during that phase, you will either see that person or they'll, you'll hear them speaking to you or you'll smell a perfume or an aftershave mm -hmm. or feel their touch. Mm -hmm. And after you've finished grieving, it doesn't happen anymore. Right. One of my friends is, is an artist and uh, after his mother died, he heard her speaking to her for three months. Mm -hmm. He eventually got over her death and she stopped speaking to him. Right. So it's something that we all do. Mm -hmm. And how we react to it seems to be crucial. That's interesting. Because I, 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 I know that I, I've, been, I've been fighting these, this experience mm -hmm. for, for a long time now. How, what effect does that have? Well, it seems to be the case that there are some things we can do that will worsen and perpetuate voice hearing. Right. There are some things we can do which will take the edge off it and bring it under a bit of control. Now, to have it under a bit of control would be very different to the way you've dealt with your voices to date. Mm 